In this tutorial, we will go through the radial and gradient masking tools in Capture One. Let's start with the radial mask. The radial mask can be found by long pressing the brush icon within the layers tool. By long pressing the brush cursor tool in the toolbar. Or by using the keyboard shortcut T. To create a mask, I click and drag on the image and the mask will draw out from the center. By default, the mask overlay is visible when drawing and adjusting the radial shape. But to show or hide the mask permanently, use the keyboard shortcut M. When the mask is drawn, I can adjust the size by dragging the handles. The softness I can adjust by dragging either the inner or the outer circle. To move it, I simply click and drag anywhere inside the mask. To rotate the mask, just grab the middle circle. Holding down shift when resizing a radial mask will keep the shape of the mask intact. If I hold down Alt, it will lock the opposite anchor point instead of symmetrically transforming around the center. With the mask created, I can now use different tools to edit my image, affecting only the masked area. If you apply a radial mask without any layers created, a new layer will automatically be created. If I need to create an additional radial mask, I first need to create another layer and add the mask to that layer. Per default, the mask is drawn on the outside of the radial shape. To invert the mask to the inside, I either drag the outer circle across the middle circle and adjust. or right click the layer and choose invert. This default behavior can be changed by right clicking on an image with the radial mask tool and tick draw mask inside. New radial masks will now be drawn on the inside. Moving on to the gradient mask tool, it's available right above the radial mask or it can be selected with the keyboard shortcut G. It can be applied simply by dragging like so. To lock the gradient to a horizontal or vertical path, hold down the shift key whilst dragging. To rotate the mask, just grab the middle line. I can control the softness of the gradient by dragging the outer lines. For the gradient mask, if I hold down shift, I can control the gradient fall off symmetrically around the center line. If I hold down alt, I can make asymmetrical gradients. With the mask created, I can now use different tools to edit my image, affecting only the masked area. 